Welcome guys, this is day 3 of my daily vlog and uh, I'm here in the same corner in, on Serangoon Road with Lavender Street uh, Hopefully I'm in focus, I think I am I'm using the manual focus here I have my Samsung Gear 360 on top and the uh, G85 Panasonic Glomix down there 14mm 5 lens and uh, this is happening. I have my selfie stick, the, the longest extension I could have. I don't want to do too much because otherwise the back one would not be out of focus and I want to give it a nice out of focus look. Now it's a bit dark though and uh, what do I need? Maybe a light? Nah, that be a bit, a bit extreme maybe. But anyway, so to get back to yesterday's vlog and I was telling you that there was a problem with the gimbal. The gimbal is a stabilization stick with three axes that will make your camera very with very smooth footage like when you see in the movies when it's just really moving forward and backwards and everything is so it's so clear and beautiful and looks like you're just uh, moving on the water so that's the kind of look I'm gonna have with my gimbal hopefully and uh, I still bought it yesterday the day, the, the day before yesterday I still haven't learned how to use it but I'm gonna do that later on today so uh, earlier uh, this morning I woke up at like 4.30 in the morning and I hadn't woken up that early for well, at least a couple of weeks but the thing is that even though I woke up that early at the end of the day I just making this vlog quite late it's like 8 30 plus and uh, the first day two days ago I went out on the street at 7 something the second day at uh, 8 and now it's 8 30 plus and I'm still uh, just going out in the street and doing this vlog and I think it's because I'm having every day to uh, organize my thing more and more it's getting a bit more I'm, I'm putting in it like a bit more thoughts and uh, I've got to uh, just like organize it a bit more I gotta set it up just a tiny bit more and that's why it's taking me more time but the good thing is that after a few more days I'm just gonna be set and I'm just gonna be able to boom go out in the street right away because everything will just be perfectly organized and I'm still at the stage where I'm actually learning how to uh, make this camera work how to make this selfie stick at the, the right distance to use the, the focus so I um, can always be in focus the manual focus uh, learning how to hold the camera and all these things and uh, well it's a uh, it's a great challenge and it's, it's a lot of fun also with my 360 camera well a few days ago I bought this goggles that you see everywhere the VR goggles right and I bought them for almost nothing. There's this shop called, uh, what is it called? Discount something. Damn, there's the same shop in France and in Spain. I forgot the name right now. But anyway, everything is always so cheap. And uh, it was already only $8, but at 50% discount because they're closing the shop pretty soon because of coronavirus. No, no, actually they're, they're relocating. So uh, I got it for four dollars. VR goggles for four dollars, which is about two and a half euro, two and a half dollars, almost three dollars. And that was pretty dumb. But I tried them a couple of days ago, and I was like, "This is not working. There's something wrong with that." I don't know what's going on, but I could not really see the 360 effect. And uh, for anyone watching this video later than 2020 or 
that has tried with VR glasses before and that understand how all these things work. Let me just drop that because it keeps on falling off when I speak. Well, and if I get the camera too close, I'm gonna be out of focus. I have to keep it at the same distance at the same distance. And that's the right distance because then you can see more of the background. If I put my face too close, well, first I'm out of focus and then you see how half the screen is with my face, you don't really see what's happening behind me. But at least if I'm in focus, the background is out of focus. But this way is the right way. So, as I was saying, uh, these VR glasses, well, I tried them for the first time a couple of days ago. And uh, they were not working. Actually, it's not that they were not working. It's just that I didn't know how the heck to make them work. So, uh, I've been using the same street as the other day, so I'm gonna take a new street here. And uh, there's something very simple that has been there on YouTube for many years but that just didn't really notice because I never really used the VR function on the 360 YouTube video. And it's the, the glasses design. And you click on the de glasses design and then you have two basically two images two squares and that's what you're supposed to do to be able to you put it to you put the the video with the two squares just click on the button with two squares you, and you get two squares and then you put your smartphone I wish you make a little demonstration uh, one of these days you put the smartphone in the VR glasses set and you put them on your face and that's when it actually works and maybe I, I kind of like knew about that from some years ago, but then I probably forgot. And now I just realized that it actually made sense. And now for the first time, God, and I'm just saying that because hopefully in a couple of years, I will be very much uh, into uh, 360 VR. I will make a great content. And you can see that he, right now in 2020, I'm still totally ignorant about it. Because that's something that I actually figured out just uh, just right now just this morning just today and I was like oh my god this is it I was watching one of my video uh, my first vlog or my second vlog I think my first vlog uh, no yesterday's vlog and I was like wow this is it I was in one of these streets over there and I was totally into it uh, I felt like I was just traveling into right into the street um, and, and this is the magic of virtual rally I'm gonna cut this video this is it for today it's been eight minutes otherwise it's gonna be tricky with the edition of my 360 video thanks for watching I'll find you tomorrow also I'll keep doing that with vlogs outside because I love them see you guys don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button